Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to be going through stock valuation and the three methods, FIFO, LIFO, and AFCO. Now, this video is going to be a bit different from my usual format because, as you guys know well, for whenever, whenever you're watching this video, we are, the date today is April the 2nd, 2020, and we are currently in the midst of the whole COVID-19 coronavirus situation. So my timetable has gotten affected by it, and I've not been able to dedicate as much time to video making as I usually do. So what I've done is I've actually, I taught my class this topic over the last couple of weeks. So I've taken the footage from my actual classes and cut it up, taken on a lot of the excess portions and spliced it all together for you. So during the course of the video, you may, you may hear me referring to some people calling names, asking for responses in the chat. Uh, so just bear with me with that. Okay, I wasn't able to take out every single thing. And some of the edits were a little harsh, right? And I wasn't, I also wasn't able to put as many annotations and notes as I usually do, but I think it's, it's good for what it is. And of course, if you have any suggestions for improvement and feedback, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, I also suggest as you go along, you have a, a pencil or pen and some paper to take some notes. Now, as you probably know, the video is about 45 to 50 minutes long, but that's because I explain all three methods with two examples each. So it takes time to go through things and to wait for people to do, well, to, to do responses, but I cut up most of the waiting time. Anyhow, guys, so I hope that you find this video helpful. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And with that, let's get into the video. We're dealing with stock valuation, which of course is how we value stock or inventory or goods or merchandise. And we have three methods that we have to know about for the purpose of CSEC. We have FIFO, which stands for first in, first out. LIFO, which stands for last in, last, last in, first out, sorry. And then AVCO, which is actually called weighted average. I'm gonna just head up three columns here. All right, purchases, then we have sales, and then we have the balance. So what's going to happen is we're basically tracking the stock as we buy and sell stock. All right, and what we are also interested in is how much stock is left at any point in time and what the composition of stock is. So to help me explain this, I decided to use different colors to represent different batches of stock. So I'm not going to worry with dates or anything for now. Okay, so let's say we start off by purchasing three units of stock. And I'm keeping the numbers small um, on purpose. So if we buy three units of stock, and that's the only transaction for the day, we're going to be left with three units of stock at the end of the day, which is going to be shown as one, two, three here. And once again, we're not worrying about the cost of the items. All we're trying to track is the physical units, right? How many in, how many out? Okay, then we go in again. So let's say now, on another day, um, so let's say we bought five more units of stock. So we bought five minus one, two, three, four, five. So now we have two, we're gonna have two batches of stock left at the very end. And so at the end of that day, we're gonna have our blue, our three blue units from above, and we're gonna have our five orange units that we just bought. All right, so we have two batches of stock. Now we're going to make a sale. We are going to sell four units. One, two, three, four. Now, because we are dealing with FIFO, sorry, one second, right? Because we are dealing with FIFO, what that means is that we have to sell in the same order in which we purchase. Let me rephrase that. We have to sell the batches we have to sell from, uh, are the same batches we bought from, and we have to sell in the same order in which they appear. So in other words, the blue batch appears first, so we're gonna sell from that batch first. The orange batch appears second, so if we run out of units of blue, we're gonna sell from the orange units, right? Now just so you know, the blue and the orange units are not different. They're the same items of stock. I'm just color coding them so we can distinguish between the different groups of stock or the different batches of stock. Okay, so because we're selling FIFO, that means we are selling from the first batch first and then the second batch. So which batch we're gonna sell from first here? Right, now tell me something. How many units do we have in this blue batch? We have three, all right? How many units we have to sell? We have to sell four units. So clearly, we cannot sell we cannot use this blue batch to fully satisfy the sale. Now, what we're gonna do, let's, let's see how many of these units we, we can satisfy. So, if we cross off that one and satisfy that one, 
this satisfies that, and this satisfies that. So we still have how many units left? We still have one more unit left to sell. And which batch do you think that's, that's going to come from? Well, we've sold out the entire blue batch, so the only batch left is the orange batch. So we're going to have to take one from the orange batch to sell to meet the four units that were being sold. Okay, so here's my question now. So how many units do we have left and from which batch? So we're going to have four of the orange units, that is correct. So we're going to put them here, one, two, three, four. Right, so we have an next purchase. So we, we sold out, so we only have four units left. So we're going to go back to the draw, um, to purchasing and we're going to buy five, one, two, three, four, five units of green. So now, what are we going to be left with? We're going to be left, sorry, what do we have at the end here now? So we still have our orange, orange batch. So we have one, two, three, four orange. And we have a new batch of five green. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, let's say we decide to stock up a little bit more and we wanted some purple. All right, and let's say we wanted to buy one, two, three purple units. Okay, so let's, let's see what we have left in us. So now our composition of stock is we have three batches. We have a batch of four orange. We have a batch of one, two, three, four, five green. And we have a batch of one, two, three purple. So if we just, if we just did a quick count there, how many units do we have in total? Four and five is nine. And nine and three will give us 12. All right. So here comes, here comes the sale. So what we want to sell now is we want to sell 10 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, so do we have enough units to satisfy this sale? Yes, we do. We have 10 units. We have 12 units, sorry. And we have to pay off. Sorry, we, not, not pay off. We have to sell 10 of those 12. So quick question. If we, send 10, if we sell 10 units and we have 12, how many units are we going to be left with? All right, 12 minus, so you can simply subtract 10, then you're going to get how many? 12 minus 10 is? Okay, so we're going to be left with two units. Now, let's see. So once again, we're dealing with FIFO. So from which batch are we going to sell first? So let's deal with the O's first. So how many orange units do we have? We have four. So obviously, we cannot satisfy an entire order of 10 with just four units. So what's going to happen? We're going to use up all four of these orange units. So let's cross off four of these units here. All right. So the next batch down is the green batch. So we're going to sell from that green batch. Now, how many do we have in that green batch? We have five. Now we have six more units left to sell. So obviously, it's not this green batch is not going to satisfy the remain, remainder of the order. Well, let's cross off the five here. I'm going to cross off five here. One, two, three, four, five. And we only have one more left to sell. And we only have one more batch from which to sell, which is the purple batch, so purple. And how many units do we have at the end? We have two units, and they're from the purple batch. I'm, I'm gonna give us a new, a fresh batch of stock. All right, so let's go with one, two, three items. Let's go, let's go back with four. Sorry, let's do three. Let's do three, and then, um, so we're gonna do orange, then we're gonna do green, so let's do one, two, three, four green. And then let's do um let's do purple. Alright, one, two, three purple. Alright, so we have if we add three and four is seven and seven and three is ten. So we have ten units here. Alright, so now I'm gonna take um I'm gonna do a sale and I'm gonna do a sale for six units. So we have ten units, so that can satisfy this demand for six units here. So we're gonna pull from the orange batch first, right? So over orange, very good. So this this orange batch of three is only going to satisfy three of these units, right? So we still have we still have three more units to sell, and that's going to come from the next batch, which is, which is the green batch, right? Now the green batch has four units, and we only need three of them. Oops, I didn't mean for them to disappear. We only need three of them to satisfy here. Okay, so you all tell me what is the remaining composition of stocks? So, so you're saying one green, and then three purple. 
And what I want to do, I want to do one more very quick example with these dots. And <laughs> I'm going to change up the colors, the order of the colors a little bit, just to make sure we, we understand, right? Because if we keep saying the same thing over and over, we might get into that pattern. We might get stuck into that pattern, right? Okay, so let me bring back, let me bring the blue. Let's, let's bring back the blue. Uh, do I have thick things with those? Yeah, okay, so let's do blue. Three, four, all right. Um, what next? Purple, let's do purple next. That's five. Um, what's the last color we should do? Um, orange. Let's do pink, let's do pink. Uh, let's do three pink. Okay, cool. So if we do a little total there, let's do total in black. I think that's 12. Four and five is nine, nine and three is 12. So we have 12 units. All right. Okay. Um, so let's sell. How many all want to sell? Out of those 12. Let me do seven. All right. So we have to sell one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so which batch are we going to pull from first? Pull from the blue batch first. So we only have four units here. So those four units are going to take off four units here. Right? Then purple, then pink. Very good. Okay, cool. So we have three more units to sell. So those three units are going to come from the next batch down, which is the purple, right? So one, two, three. And then one, two, three. Very good. So bliss. Blue was first. That's correct. All right. <clears throat> so now... I want you guys to give me the breakdown of what, what is left. So we're going to have two purple and we're going to have three pink. One, two, three. A new method of explaining stock valuation is all well and good, but it wouldn't be much help unless we were, it, was, it allowed us to, to, uh, to be able to answer questions in their usual form better than before. All right. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the FIFO handouts from Monday and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Or zoom in a lot so you guys could see what is going on right um, so you guys do have to fill in anything we answered all the questions on Monday already right I'm just, I just want to do the same kind of color scheme thing just to make sure that we are <clears throat> connecting what we just did with what we might have to do and how it might be presented okay so what we are seeing here is a few transactions we have five transactions um, the first one is not a transaction per se that's just open in stock all right, and what we are seeing as well as we are seeing our stock tracking table or stock flow table or whatever you guys learn to call it. All right, um, one second. Yes, yeah, sorry. So let's let's take it one thing at a time, right? So open in stock is two hundred units. So that is not a purchase, right? Oh, okay, Ch Chad knows saying he can't make it today. Okay, no problem. Well, Chad will just watch the replay. All right, it's not a purchase, it's not a sale, it's just, it's just the balance at start. So we have 200 units at a cost of $4 per unit, right? And 200 by 4 will give us a total of 800. Okay, on the 2nd of March, we bought another 100 units. So let's, let's go to green. So we bought another 100. So on the 2nd of March, we bought another 100 at a cost of $5 per unit which means we spent a total of $500 there. So now when we come to the balance, we have 200 units from before at $4 each, which gives us 800. And we have a new green batch of 100 units, each value at $5 per unit, which gives us a 500 value there. So I'm gonna put a total, I'm gonna put it in black, because black is a nice neutral color. All right, and that's a value of 1300. Okay, now let's take a look at what happens on the 3rd of March. So we sold 150 units for 20 each. So on the 3rd of March, we're gonna go to the sales column. We sold 150 units at 20, so that's $3,000. Now, because it's FIFO, right, we have two batches of stock. We have 300 in total, which means we can more than sell 150 out of it. All right. So first question is, from which batch are we going to pull first? The, the blue batch or the green batch? So my next question is this, right? So we have 200 units in the blue batch. We have to sell 150 
are we going to have any of the blue batch left after we sell 150 units out of it? 50, right. So we could subtract the number we sold. So we're going to track, subtract the 50 out of that. Um, so now, when we come to fill out our balance information, how, how, well, what stock do we have left after the sale? This is going to give us 50 units, right? And yeah, that was four, so that's going to give us 200 here. Uh, did we touch the green batch at all? I don't feel like we touched the green batch at all. No, we didn't, right? Because we were able to sell the full 150 out of the blue batch and leave the green batch untouched. All right, so let me finish writing the next batch. The next batch was 100 units. <laughs> okay. We bought 200 units of stock now at a cost of six. So now on March, on March 4th, right? So March 4th, March 4th. We're going to the purchases column. So that is 200 units of stock at a cost of $6 each, which gives us 1200 as the value. So now we have three batches of stock. We have a blue batch, a green batch, and an orange batch. So let's get that stuff written down. So that's 50 at four, it's 200. We have the green batch of stock, which is 100 at five, which gives us 500. And we have the orange batch of stock, which is 200 at six, which gives us 1200. So now I'm just gonna total it. And once again, put that in a neutral color. So that's 800 units there. And this is 1900 here. Okay. All right, so now let's go with our final sale. Final sale, this item here. So we sold 100 units. So on March 5th, we sold 100 units. So March 5th, on the sales column, we sold 100 units at $20 each, which means we earned $2,000. Right. So we have 800 units, so we could definitely... Sorry, how am I get 800? Sorry, that's not 800. <laughs> you see how lining up? Lining up in numbers bad, they can mess you up real bad. That's 50 units. So we have 350. Come the man, Philip, or you could have say something. All right. Am I talking totishness? <laughs> Sorry, that's not your fault. That's not your fault. Okay, so we have 50. <clears throat> Where's my water? I drank water. Great. So we have 350 units. We have to sell 100. So yes, we can definitely sell 100 if we have 350. So we sell it from the blue batch first. So we have 50 units here. Can the 50 units satisfy the demand of 100? No, it can't. So this whole batch of 50 is going to be used up. So if, if we sell, if we had 50 in the first batch and we had to sell 100, it means um, we're going to have 50 left to sell. All right, so, we, so after, after using up the batch of 50, we still have 50 more units to sell to satisfy the whole order. All right, so we're taking 50 from green. So how many units of the, of the green batch will be left, therefore? All right, 100 minus 50 will give us... 50 very good what they're coming in fast and furious boy i think they, they, they postponed that movie right because that was supposed to come out i think late april yeah fast and furious 9 50 units very good rihanna very good everybody right so 50 by 5 will give us 250 all right the orange bat was untouched so we still have that as well okay and let's put the total there in black okay so we have 250 units and oh, is April next year coming out? Wow. All right, cool. So let's switch across to LIFO. All right, and yeah, guys, what I will do is um, after class, I'll convert all this stuff to PDF and send it to you. All right, um, okay. Let's go to LIFO. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the sound of the police. Ooh, ooh. All right, okay. So LIFO means last in first out. And let me just head up some of the columns here. All right, so, wait, why am I writing in a pencil? Well, up him, the marker, marker, right. Sales and what? Okay. So in this case, we're going back to colors. So let's go back to our colors. So let's start again. So we're going to buy three blue units. So we, we bought three blue units. So therefore, we have three blue units in stock. 
Then we bought some orange units. We bought four orange units. One, two, three, four. So now our stock comprises of two batches. A blue batch and an orange batch. Blue batch of three and an orange batch of four. All right. Now we have a sale. And that sale is going to be four units. One, two, three, four. She said she's going to say yes in about 30. <laughs> All right, thanks a bunch. Okay, guys, so we are dealing with LIFO, last in, first out. Last in, first out means that we're going to sell from the last batch and then go up. Right, so it's the exact opposite of FIFO. So by, by letters in the chat, from which batch are we going to sell from first here? Or o for orange, B for blue. So we have four units, four orange units, and four red units to sell. So sorry, we have four units to sell, and that batch was totally used up in meeting the demand. Which means we only have three blue units left. Now, let's get a couple more purchases going. So we're going to have, let's do a green. All right, so we have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five units there. So it means now we have three blue and in addition to the three blue we have five green and let's say we buy some purple one two three four five purple so now where is the blue right so we have the same three blue from before three blue we have our five green one two three four five and we have our five purple three four five all right, so now we're going to do a sale. And that sale is going to be how many units? Well, let's do 10. So I, I, I'm, going to do a, I'm going to do a few sales just so we can get a feel for this. And I, and I might mix up the batches as well. All right, so let's do 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so we're dealing with LIFO, which means last in, first out. So from which batch are we going to sell first? P for purple, G for green, B for blue. We're gonna take five from this batch to satisfy piece of the order, all right? So we're satisfying half of the order. And now what? from what batch will we pull from next? B for blue, G for green. So very good, we're gonna pull from the green. So we're gonna, this whole row of five, we'll satisfy this whole row of five here. And what are we left with? How many units and what color? Well, all that remains are the three blue units, right? So we're going to do one or two more um, like this. Right, so let me, let me do some, um, some batches and stuff. Let's do some different colors and different orders and that kind of thing, right? So let's start, let's start with, with purple this time, right? So, so how many do we have here in total? We have five and three is eight, eight and six is 14. All right. So I'm going to choose how many we sell in. We're gonna sell 12. Okay, so we're gonna be green first. Let's get let's get that green going. So we have six units there. So we cross out one, two, three, four, five, six, that whole batch. So we're gonna cross off one, two, three, four, five, six there. So we have six more to sell. The next batch is the orange, which you guys correctly um, cited there. So we just cross out that whole batch, right? So that is one, two, three. Um, and we have three more units to sell. So all of those units will come from the purple batch, right? Um, boom. Bam. So all we have left is two purples. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to the, the handout for today. So bought 100 at 8 on the first day. So let's go here. So let's start off with blue. All right. So that's the February the 1st, right? So Feb 1, 108. All right. 108, which means we have 800 units in stock. So the balance... Sorry, eight hundred dollars worth of units in stock. My apologies. All right, so we have eight hundred here. Okay, cool. So that's that transaction. Next, sold fifty units of stock at twenty dollars each. Now, fifty at twenty dollars each. So we sold fifty units. Oh, sorry, that that's a little too thick. I clearly clicked the wrong ones. Right, so fifty at twenty each. That's a thousand dollars worth of sales. Right, so if we sold 50, we only have one batch. So we don't have any, any um, what do you call it, choice to make there. 
If we sold 50 from 100, how many are we going to have left? How many of this batch will be left after we sell 50 out of it? 50, all right, thank you, Joel. Right, and that's the same. All right, let's go back to this file here. On the third, we bought another 100 at nine each, right? So that's, that's this transaction here, third at nine. 100 at nine, sorry, on the third. <laughs> all right, let's do the orange. We bought another 100 at nine, which means we spent $900. So now we have two batches of stock. We have our blue batch. We have 50 left out of our blue batch. At eight, sorry, that's not 800, that's 400, my bad. And we have the hundred. All right, so we have a hundred, nine, we have a nine hundred. Okay, so on the fourth now, we sold 100 units of stock for 20 each. So, so on February the 4th, we sold a hundred units of stock for 20, which means we have, we sold $2,000 with, oh, I didn't put a total. Shucks, 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 all right. All right, so let me just put a total, so 150. All right, I should really have skipped a line. I really forgot to put a total there. Okay, you know what? I have the technology. Let me just shift it down real quick. One line, see? Easy, quick, easy, simple. All right, guys, so by letters in the chat, we had to sell 100, we have 150 worth. From which batch are we going to pull first? The orange or the blue? O for orange, B for blue. Go. And blue. All right, yeah, if, if, we, do, if we don't have enough from here to satisfy this, this order, we will pull from the blue after that. So, right, so very good, everybody who answered. So we have enough from that orange batch just to fully satisfy the order, which means we're going to be left with... 50 in the blue, 400, all right? Um, no need for a total there because there's only one batch of stock, all right? When there's only one batch of stock, we don't have to put a total. It's, it's kind of explanatory already, right? All right, we're going to begin. So on the, I don't know why I did that. On the fifth, now we bought 150 at a cost of 10. So on the fifth, so we did blue, we did orange. Let's do green now, all right? So February 5th. We bought 150 units at a cost of 10, which means the total value of that purchase is 1500 Right, so now we have two batches. We have the blue batch of 50 at 8, which is 400 And we have the new batch, the green batch, of 150 at 10, which is 1500 Okay, so let's just do a total there for posterity. 200 units, total value 1900 all right, um, I feel like that purple. Oh, no, no, 86. We bought an additional 312. So let's do that one. February 6, 300 units, boy. What? We expect in demand. That total is now at 3600. So now we have three batches of stock. All right, I wish I had like one of those. Um, you all ever have one of those pens where like you can just press down and you get a different color? Uh, I feel like it's, it's switching back and forth. It's a little tedious, but I mean, it's not taking that long. I don't think it's holding back anything. It just takes a couple of seconds to do, which is not a big deal, to be honest. All right, and let's do a little total. All right, so let me scroll up a little bit. Uh, I don't like I have 36W. Let me change that, 36W, yes. Right, so nice round zeros. Okay, so 50 and 150 is 200, so we have 500 units in all. Um, that's 5,500, I believe. If any of my errors can take us off, please let me know. I would like to have incorrect figures. All right, now we, I think we have two sales back to back. Let's go. So on the seventh, sold 150 at $20 each. So on February 7th, we sold 150 at 20 each, which is going to be $3,000 worth of sales. All right, so by letters in the chat, from which batch are we pulling first? P for purple, G for green, B for blue. So next question, do we have enough in this batch to, sat to fully satisfy this order? Yes or no? I think we do. All right, so when we do fully satisfy that order, 
Um, we have some of this left, right? Okay, the breakdown we're gonna have. So we have 50 from the blue. From the green, we have the full 150 left. But from the purple, I was supposed to get a, a brighter purple. Anyhow, we have 150 left because we, out of the 300 we initially had, we sold 150. That's by 12. I believe that's 1800. Okay, let's get a total. So that's going to give us, I think, 350. And the value is going to be 3700. All right. All right, and we have one more sale. Let's see how much that is for. 250 units at 20 each. So 250 units. All right, so this is February. February is 250 units at 20. Sales value is 5,000. Okay. So first things first is the purple. Now we have 150 in that purple batch, which is not going to be enough to satisfy the 250. But so when we use up 150 to sell today we are going to be left with how many to sell after we're going to be left with 100 left to sell right so 150 from the 250 is with 100 and that's going to come from the next batch which is the green batch so we have 150 and we have to sell to 100 which means that we are going to have 50 left All right so 150 minus the 100 will give us leave us with 50. so our final our final balance of stock it's 50 by 8. We have two batches, a batch, a blue batch and a green batch. Both of which will have, sorry, I don't know why I did that. We'll have 50 units and totaling 100 here as units and as dollars here. So it says bought 100 units of stock at $4 a unit. So 100 by 4 will give us 400, right? Let's put that here. 100 by 4 is 400. We sold 80 units of stock. So if you had 100 units and you sold 80, how many will be left? So you see in here, 20, right? So we had 100, we sold 80, we left with 20. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the next transaction. We bought another 20 units of stock at a cost of $6 per unit. So another 20 at a cost of 6 so we bought another 20 at a cost of 6. Now, as you all know, so let me let me put one batch. We can put one batch in, let's put a batch in blue. All right, so this is the blue batch here. Uh, we put the second batch in, what do you want? You want green? Let's do a little green, do a green batch here. Now, this is the new part. The reason it's called the weighted average method of stock valuation is that it does away with ha having separate batches. Let me explain. So you know how before we use the little color-coded dots and stuff to be able to figure out which batch we pull in from at which time? Okay, here we're not going to have to worry about that. Let me explain why. We have two batches of stock, right? A blue batch and a green batch. We have a total of 40 units at a total valuation of 200. Normally, we would not have a number in the middle here. The reason we have a number in the middle here, this, this one as a matter of fact, is because We've taken the cost, the total valuation of the units, and divided by the number of units. And 200 divided by 40 gives us an average cost of $5 per unit. Remember what an average is, is if you have, let's say you have three numbers, two plus three plus four, and you wanted to find the average, a value somewhere in the middle of them, right? We will add up all the numbers and divide by how many other numbers there were. Now, 2 and 3 is 5, 5 and 4 is 9, and 9 divided by 3 will give us back 3. So that's the average of those three numbers. Now, in here, we have 20 units at 4 each. So think about it like we have 20 groups of 4, or 20 by 4, right? And then we have 20 units at, five, at 6 each. So imagine that being like you have 6 units, or sorry, you have 6 you have a value of 620 times. So you have 20 sixes. So you have 80 in total there, 120 in total there, a total of 200, just, which is just the same calculation here. And of course now we have 40 units. 20 and 20 is 40. 
So what we do is we take the total cost and divide by the number of units. Sorry, all that is very cluttered. I'm going to erase quite a bit of it. All right, let me just put an arrow there and a relatively neater arrow here. So now what happens is when we have to sell so the next, the next sale is we sold 30 units at 20. So let's come back here. So now we have 40 units and we're selling 30. How many are we gonna have left? Well, 40 minus 30, because you have 40 units and you're selling 30, which means you're gonna have 10 left. Now it doesn't matter which batch you pull from because basically what we're doing is we're lumping all of the stock together as one big batch and we're averaging out the cost. So we don't have to worry about how many units from the blue batch we pull in, and then if we satisfy all, if we have to pull some from the green batch, if it was FIFO, or if it was LIFO, we'd pull from the green batch first and then pull from the blue batch. So that's not happening here. We just have one batch of 40, total value of 200, average cost per unit. Oh, you're doing the question, all right, cool, of five, right? And we got the five because of this work in here, 200 divided by 40. The total value of all the units divided by the total number of all the units. Yeah. All right, so um, we're gonna have 10 units left at $5 each, which gives us a total of $50 worth of stock. Going back here now, um, on April the 5th, we bought 30 units at a cost of nine. So we bought 30 more at a cost of nine. So that's, that's here. We bought 30 more at a cost of nine. All right. So that, that means we're going to have two batches now. So we have the 10 at five that we brought down. And we have the 30 at nine that we have here. So 10 and 30 will give us 40 units. 10 by five is 50. 30 by nine is 270. And then 50 and 270 is 320. To find the cost in the middle, guess what we do? We take the 320, the total value of all the units, and we divide by the total number of units, which gives us, in this case, $8 per unit. So we notice that the average cost rose, and that is because the cost of the newest batch is actually higher than the cost of the previous batches. We, we had those two batches, right? We had those two batches, this one and that one, but we combine them into a single batch and we work this out by taking the 320 and dividing by the 40. All right. Now, from there, we bought an additional 40 units of stock at a cost of $9. So we bought four, 40, sorry, at nine. So we bought the next 40 at nine. So, we now have this batch brought down, 40 at 8, which is 320, and we have this new batch here, 40 at 9, 360. So what do we do? We add up all the units, 40 and 40 is 80. We add up all the value, 320 and 360 is 680, and guess what we do? We take the 680 dollars and divide by the 80 units, which will actually give us, in this case, $8.50 per unit, so $8.50. Let me put a little, a little zero on the inside there. $8.50 per unit. So now, when we go to sell, so we have two more sales, one at 30 and one at 40. So when we make the sale at 30, so we have 80 units, we're selling out 30. 80 minus 30 will give us, or leave us with 50. At what value? Well, the average cost. So that just comes down here, and once again you multiply going across to get the 425. Subsequently, we sell another four, sorry, another 40 units. So if we have 50 units and we sell 40 units, we're gonna have 10 left, which is right here. At what value? The same 850. And 10 by 850 is 85. Alright, guys, let me um take a stab at the first few transactions eh? so we bought a hundred units of stock at a cost of twenty dollars per unit okay cool bought hundred units of stock at twenty which means spent two thousand dollars okay cool so we have one batch of a hundred 
at 20 each, giving us 2,000. On the second, we sold 80 of those for 50 each. 80 at 50. So if we had 100 and we sold 80, I think we're going to have 20 left, right? 100 minus 80. Right? We had 100 in stock. We sold 80 of those units, which means we have 20 left. 20 by 20 is 400. Next, we had bought another 60 units at a cost of 22. All right. Let's go back and think. Bought another 60 units at a cost of 22. 220 by 6, so thirteen twenty. Twenty at 20. I have no problem being corrected. Yes, thirteen twenty. So that's 80 units. Sorry, 1720. Zero. And we sold 70 on the 4th for 50. Fifty. Sold 70, right? And 80 minus 70 will leave us with 10 units. And that's 10 units and an average cost of 21.50 per unit, giving us $215 left. Yeah, I put these fifties in the wrong place. Ah, that I did. That I did. Thank you very much. All right, eighty by fifty will give us four thousand seventy by sorry, seventy by fifty will give us thirty-five hundred. All right, so March fifth, bought forty units of stock at twenty-four. Forty. At 24 will give us 960. So we have a batch of 10 at 2150, giving us a total value of 215. And a batch of 40 at 24 giving us 960. That will give us 1175. This is 50. And 1175 divided by 50, boy. All right. On the 6, we bought an additional 150 at 2650. Right? So on the 6, 150 at 2650. So we brought, we bring down a 50 at 2350 here. Which is 1175. We have a 150 here, sorry. At 2650. Giving us 3975. So that should give us 5150. 200 units. Boom. So 51.5 divided by 2 boy. I'll double check that just in case I made a little error. Two sets of seals. One at 120 and one at 75. Just six thousand dollars. Two hundred minus one twenty will leave us with eighty units. Right, two hundred minus one twenty is eighty. That's eighty by twenty-five. Sorry, twenty-seven five. Okay, so my one might still be alive in that year. <laughs> we sold seventy-five units. Seventy-five at fifty. That's revenue of 37.50. And if you sell 75 from 80, how many you have left? Five. 25.75. Yeah, how can I squeeze it in? <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, in orange below here, we're gonna put the totals. So that's 200, 200 and 300. So yeah, so the total you bought was 450 units. Total, so that's, okay, 3320, 3380, 
217 times 345. Which means this should be 350. Because you only have 5 units left, right? 180 and 60. 160 is 160. 160. Yeah, 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 350. 350. Because 350 minus 345 will give us back the 5 across here. So you see how you could cross check yourself? And you see why it's important to make sure your answers make sense? See. What we, what we want to do is we want to fill in the trading account section down here. So the sales figure was 17 to 50. Now if I have any, like I said, calculation errors, please let me know. All right, cost of sales. So we had no open in stock, so that's zero. Purchases as, as 8,255. This could go all the way here if you want. Um, so that's gonna give us 8,255. Closing stock. Was one twenty eight seventy five. Should I just put one twenty nine, boy? All right, let's use one twenty nine. So we're gonna minus that from that. So one twenty nine from two fifty five is was that eighty one twenty six. And then, so that's gonna give us twenty four there. That's gonna give us a one, and then a nine. And as you grow profit, not grow, not grow, say grow, <laughs> like grow silly. <laughs> okay, guys, so there you have it, stock valuation in a nutshell, albeit a slightly big nutshell, I don't know, all right? I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys, and I love helping you under better understand whatever I've explained in the video. And I'm not, I'm never really um, angry or anything or annoyed if you ask me questions, because... I, I never think that everybody will understand the first time I explain something, even if I find a new method or refine it or people have understood for uh, my methods for years or whatever the case is, um, because no one method works for everybody. And I understand that and the questions you, that you give to me help me to refine my techniques and find different ways to do things, help me find, it helps me to find a different approach to it, right? <laughs> and we have to adapt because change is the only constant. Anyhow, guys, um, so once again, we're right today is April the 2nd, 2020. Yesterday was my, my one year YouTube anniversary. Yeah, yesterday was one year since I, I um, released my first video on YouTube, and I hope to release many, many more. And we are, like I said, currently in the midst of the whole coronavirus situation, COVID-19. So guys, if, you, if we're still in that, that time, whenever you're watching this, if we're still in that kind of situation, please stay safe, practice the proper hygiene techniques. If we are out of it, I hope everybody came out of it well, and everybody is healthy. And yeah, it's, it's, it's um, curious. We want to know what's really going to happen with the whole CEXC situation. We know that they said only paper ones and SBAs, but we have some pushback from, I think, Barbados and Guyana. You guys, you can check out Kerwin Springer. He had an excellent video up on that today, and he's an excellent teacher. Um, apart from that, guys, you know me. I try to maintain a positive mindset, and like I said, you can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. If you have the correct mindset, you have to believe you can do it, and you have to put in the work. Along the way, you're bound to have trouble, make mistakes. It's part of the process. But if what you're doing isn't working, then you're going to have to find a different approach to it. Adapt. Because change is the only constant. Okay, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for one year of um, videos. Thanks for 1,900 and change subscribers. And I'm looking forward to many, many more years, many, many more subscribers, and helping you guys get better at POA, math, and admins. All right, guys. Till next time, take care.